What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple of defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. This video, as you can see by, you know, just the whole interface and all everything you see going on right now, this was taken from my stream. Um, this face cam is obviously my stream face cam. I thought, you know, I might as well just do one face cam and there it is. Um, and we're playing Zan Madden, man. So you guys may have heard of him. He's a big name in the community. Great guy. And he is on Xbox. We are playing Xbox weekly in the time of this game. I want to say we were either, you know, 9-0 and or 10-0. and So, you know, we're still undefeated, man. And uh, obviously, if you know, you know what happens. But this game literally goes down to the last play. So stick to the end if you want to see what happens. Guys, first play. Zan is running 2-4-5 match. It's right here. Everything matched on pretty nicely. And we do end up getting sacked by Derek Thomas on the first play. And I'll tell you what, guys. Match is actually pretty effective out of this set. But the thing is, sometimes random things like that happen. So I had a delay fade. I think that delay fade ended up causing that flat route that should have guarded the drag to just completely whiff and go to the middle of the field. You see right here that drag was open. Zan is, Zan's abilities, I believe he has two edge threats and a whole bunch of KOs. It's right here. We get a nice dot, but we're not able to rack it. And I mean, we're not able to catch it because we did rack it. Should 100% possession caught that. It's right here, boys. Same play again. We're just going to take Braylon Edwards this time, get our yards. It's right here, we're trying to get another good play. This hitch, flat route combo, and the hitch is just wide open. We actually end up getting a lot of time right there. It's right here, running a draw. So, uh, you know, it actually ends up getting quite a bit of yards. Usually, an inside zone is a meta run out of that bunch tight end. But I thought, you know what, maybe draw might be good because he is in a 4D line set. Draws are usually all right versus those sets. It's right here, just trying to find a new play. Um, I, this whole game you'll see I, I primarily run quite a bit of bunch tight enders right here There's nothing open. We're just gonna throw this ball away Basically my reasoning for that is I want to get better in it bunch tight end is really really You know, it is kind of meta, but it's really meta for the one play only it's that PA boot over um, For the most part every other play is not you know People don't really have too many looks at it as you see me mixing in a lot of different plays Probably only ran boot over once or twice this game So like I said, I want to get good in bunch tight end so I can mix it in because, you know, I still run Jets. It's right here. We're going to get screamed at. He sends a nice five-man blitz. And uh, I get screamed at due to the fact that I double-teamed someone. So if I didn't double-team him, he may have still came in. But for the most part, I don't think he would have. Um, and I, the first time I double-teamed, he ended up screaming at me because, you know, he has those double, those edge threats out there. And I really kind of just wanted some nice time. And that's that. We end up kicking three. And, you know, I mean, we're up 3-0. Right here, man. Zan is in a two-tight end set. And Zan was running a pretty unique offense in this game. It's right here. We probably should have just ended up running to the flat and picking that off. I don't know if I would have or not, but it would have been a much harder throw compared to that easy, you know, flat throw. And, you know, he ends up getting quite a bit of yards with that Herschel Walker truck. Guys, you see who he has at quarterback? He has Lamar Jackson. And this Lamar Jackson, as you see right here, he takes off. Questionable throw, but it's actually a dot. He has escape artists on him. So, you know, this is going to be kind of tough game. My drive that, you know, I end up getting three yard, three points on, you know, took quite a bit of time, took that whole first quarter. And, you know, just like that, Zan is already at the 42 yard line. Like I said, man, this game is insane. It goes down to the last second. You have to watch till the end. It's right here. He's going to run a nice little jet pass. And he actually has some pretty good stick where it gets 10 yards. And one thing I'll say is Zan used so many audibles and so many different motions that it kind of had me off guard a little bit. See right here, RPO bubble, not that many yards, up to third down. And boys, in the future, hopefully this can be like a live con straight from my stream. Um, the thing is, I play a lot of music while I stream, and it is what it is. I love to listen to music and jam out. But, you know, if it's potentially taken away from these hell games, live comms, I might have to, you know, start playing some DMCA music or even no music at all. Is Right there, nice corner out to Jor Jeremy Shockey. And live is always better, man. No matter what, live will always be better. The reactions, the rage, this, that, and the third. Right here, he decides to try to run a glitch play. 
But, but I mean, that just has no yards right there. Right here, he's gonna run a trap. I thought it was a counter, so my user is very sleepy. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I kind of went to the left with Justin Reed instead of just clogging up the middle, and you know, he ends up taking it to the four. Guys, this is actually a really hell play call. I end up holding him on third down, and what he does, I don't. I should have noticed it as soon as I seen him have put Bo Jackson there. As he runs a jet pass to Bo Jackson, Bo was lined up at wide receiver. 100% should have recognize that and adjust it towards it but it's a really good thing because you know he could either run that jet pass or he could end up running goal line personnel because he was in three tight ends right there so that's actually a really good play if you ask me and a great drive from zan hopefully we could get points before half see right here man he's gonna run some match and then i think that's a cloud flat and we're just able to throw it right over it and this game man is completely different game styles i like to you know pass it a lot and you know try to have some nice quick high power drives um while zan is kind of slowing the game down and there's nothing wrong with that at all like playing either way you want obviously the better you know that that he's gonna play better if he plays towards his styles right here match bags us right here we're gonna throw to derrick henry and instead of trucking up field we actually decided you know what let's just take these yards and go out of bounds nonetheless actually was a better result because we are able to get out of bounds and get seven yards and right here man zan actually switches it up he hops in three three five odd which we all know, either hate it or you love it, you either run it or you don't. So right here, we're just gonna hit a nice slant out pass. Um, the cloud flat really had no chance, or that was a soft squad or something. Probably had zone drops on too, I probably would assume. And right there, we're gonna be able to move the chains. Little conductor quick hike right here. Mesh with a post route, the user falls asleep. I could have really just thrown it a little upfield, but we get a nice juke and we're able to get out of bounds, honestly. That does help you out quite a bit. I know I don't have any timeouts, and I know I probably want to drain the clock, but hey, uh, this gives me more time to think, more time to set audibles, and that's what we're going to do, man. I'm trying to think of that nice play at the mo at the moment of this, you know, time of the game. And, you know, without with getting out of bounds, it lets me run the ball, you know, so I have a chance to run the ball. I'm actually going to try to hit this RPO right here, and it actually looked really nice, but I don't get that many yards. But that truck was kind of glitchy, boys. That truck kind of helped me get four yards. It's right here, boys. We're going to run the same play again, and it's there. And we're going to try to cut it at the outside, and he actually has really good stick work. I should have probably hit a stop and go or something. It's right here. We're just going to try to freestyle a play, and Pete Moss just absolutely killed Dion on the press. And if I were Zan, I 100% would have called a timeout if I was him. Um, you know, I just got to freestyle, no huddle, a uh, nice play. It was spacing switch, so spacing switch is always kind of nice in the red zone. Um, it either sits between the zones or, you know, right there. The man actually got B. And, you know, I will 100% take that nice play to go, you know, go from being down potentially one or maybe even not even getting points at that position to even being up at half. Right here, boys. Zan is going to run the ball. 0-1 trap. Gets to a hash. Right here, I decided to run commit left. I'm not letting him continue to throw that, or I guess that is a pass, right? Yeah, it counts as a pass. Let him throw that jet touch pass uh, over and over again, because honestly, it is pretty cheesy. But right now, at the moment, he's nine for nine. So, and those p jet touch passes add up. Right here, man, I'm trying to show my first blitz look, my first blitz threat, while still containing him in the pop pocket, as you see right here. Um, I, ha I move out Deion Jones on the right side, put him in a contain. And right here, he ends up running, and we are able to make that tackle. But my whole thought process on that is I really don't want Lamar to get outside the pocket. So that's why I move my contains out and put my DN on the contain, because that's a contain you actually can't roll out from. Honestly, boys, go, looking back on it, thinking back about it, I should have never ran over G, even from the beginning. Over G really wasn't that good. Should 100% played wide and mixed in some coverages. Right here, actually, that was really good defense. And he still hangs on to it, but I mean, we'll take it. I didn't have the best defensive coverage. Um, I, should I say, user? I should have used it in the middle of the field, but I thought he was going to have something on that left side. But the blitz did come in screaming. We just weren't able to break up that pass. It's right here. He's going to run counter. So he finally runs counter. Eric Berry with a big bop stick. Right here, Tyreek Hill in motion from right, left to right. And my whole alignment gets messed up. And, uh, you know, we're immediately run to the right side. And you know what's so crazy? He ends up running a screen. So, I mean, Zam was mixing in some perfect play calls. My whole alignment was messed up. I wanted to run to the right with my user just in case to guard everything up, just in case there's a blown coverage. And he ends up hitting it back left side with an easy, easy screen pass. So, I mean, that was just a beautiful thing right there. I don't know if that happened on purpose. 
I don't think it honestly did, but like my alignment was messed up and I had to run back. Otherwise, it would have been a nice game. It's right here. We could have used a rush, boys. He ends up hitting a flat route to Walker and trucks me. And that Walker, man, I tell you what, he breaks a lot of tackles. And boys, man, if you're watching this, this gameplay has been going by pretty fast. It's almost the fourth quarter. And that's just what it is with four minute quarters. It's right here. Eric Berry, the new theme diamond comes up big and we hit him with the stop and go, but we trip on nothing, man. I'm not going to complain when I just got blessed and lucky. We will surely gladly take that. Eric Berry, I clicked off too. So that was a CPU strip fumble. If you guys don't have Eric Berry, cop him ASAP. That dude is the best defensive back in this game. Whether you use him, whether you play him in coverage, whether you put him at linebacker, you the possibilities are endless. I bet you could even put him out of a corner and he would go crazy. That dude, Eric Berry, is a must-have. It's right here. We throw this playmaker dot for not not playmaker dot, excuse me. This drag really for no yards, but it will take us to the fourth quarter. It's right here. We try to mix in a couple of uh, audibles of our own. So, you know, he was hitting us with some nice audibles. It's right here. Let me know, chat. Can I throw A or not right there? We waited, we hesitated, and Montez Sweat comes in free. We potentially had that playmaker for a nice dot. We potentially had that corner out for a nice dot. Thing is, we were not able to throw either or due to, you know, me not trusting the throw plus the combination of Montez Sweat. And right here, we're just trying to get in field goal range, man. If we could get in field goal range, I'll take it. He actually has a nice play call. He sends a blitz off the right side. And we get an air truck. And that's, I think it's just enough for us to get in field goal range. It says we can't make it at this point. Let's see if we could kick this or not. Going up six is really, you know, it's going to force him to go for a touchdown instead of playing for overtime. It's right here. It says we can make it, man, just by an inch. We don't have David Akers, and that's a card we need to get. Kick is up with Jason Sanders, team of the year, and it is barely going to sneak in for us. Full max power, full max accuracy, and we need one stop, boys. And peep the number on the top right, not the full top right, but like the top right middle. Um, 374 people at this time. As he hits us with a nice RPO glitch dot, I know you guys have seen that. It's right here, boys. He's going to run trap, and Barry gets pushed out the way. He's already up to his 50-yard line, man. That was a nice, quick two plays so boys you see right there i don't know if you saw i was blitzing namdi i ended up putting him in a ver hook for that sole reason man i remember that play from the beginning of the game and uh you know i don't know if i was gonna pick that off but you never know namdi could have went crazy with acrobat and you know ends up being a incompletion which i guess i'm fine with I'm not really gonna ask for a pick right there see right here boys we are sending the goons Trying to just blitz, get one sack. If we get one sack, I feel like we'll be in a great position to win. And that's what we're able to do. Zam misses a couple nice, open, easy reads. And Eric Berry, there he is again. He has seven tackles, two sacks, one strip fumble. Not a pick, I don't think. Uh, Zan has been perfect with his reads thus far. But man, oh man, that Eric Berry is different. He flies around the field. Him and Troy Polamalu alongside, you know, Derwin James. Probably the best defensive safeties in the game. See right here, man, we are trying to send the contain, and he hits us with a nice dot to the left side. I felt like Justin Reese should have played that. That was a deep blue, middle third. Um, you know, it is what it is. Maybe on all Madden he plays that, but I definitely thought he should have played that. He, nonetheless, it is what it is. He's going to be able to get a nice amount of yards back, and this is a big play, fourth and six right here. And boys, we keep Eric Berry in this three wreck because we want him to guard the middle of the field, but what Zan does here is a great counter. We are sending a right man blitz, half couple contains, and that three wreck is not able to guard the corner route. Great dot right there. And 100% should have hook curled that. Um, just got to move on to the next play, especially with how much time is left. We could, we could still get the stop and win this game right here, right now. As long as he doesn't get seven, boys, we will be in great shape. You see right here, he runs a jet touch pass. It was a little risky to run commit, but Rod Woodson comes up huge. Absolutely huge. Um, I thought that was a touchdown, boys. If he got past Rod, uh, Rod Woodson, I've almost called them Rod Wave, boys. Almost said Rod Wave. If he got past Rod Woodson's last line of defense, it would have been a touchdown. And now my point is in a spread. I see that immediately, and I'm like, you know what? We have to run 1-4-6. So honestly, boys, he came out in spread, but he does audible to a gun tight look. It's right here. He actually has a pretty nice play with Lamar Jackson. It's not going to be an ideal play in this scenario, but that was actually a really good play to get him back within the numbers after that last, you know, I think that last play was a minus two or minus three yard gain. And right here, man, I wanted to run one, four, six. So that's what we're going to do. I actually contemplate what to run. And, you know, I, I said, you know what, let's just come out of one, four, six. Uh, he's in a two, three set, but he does have three receivers. So I don't think he could audible down to anything. 
That's right here. We are trying to send the blitz and trying to get out of here. But you know what he ends up doing? He ends up taking a delay of game, boys. And, you know, we're not going to accept that, as you see right here in a second. And I don't know if he was able to call a timeout or not. Um, and I don't know if he wanted to play 146 or not. Uh, a lot of people in my chat just tell me he took a free one. Uh, I saw me to accept it, but, you know, I said, it's all good. It's a weekend league game. I'm going to decline it. Uh, maybe in an MCS game, you got to accept that, honestly. But, you know, in a, fr in a friendly weekendly game, a good content game, we're going to decline that penalty. And see right here, man, Deion Jones, I'm going to move him out. I'm going to move him out. Ricky Jackson's on the contained. I guess he is inside, so it makes sense what happens right here. He gets double teamed, and this corner route is just so open. You know what, man? We had good karma. We I thought we were going to have good karma after declining that penalty. But it just ends up being that a straight dot to Darren Waller, one of my favorite Raiders, right in my face. And you see my reaction, man. I'm out of it. I'm like, okay, we got to get three. It is what it is. He dotted us up. We have to get three. And wow, what a, what a sequence of events. Great dot. At the time of the game, man, I was saying, why are contains so bad? Why are contains so bad? Because y'all seen it, man. I had contains out there. Uh, he ends up getting chopped, but it is what it is. We had to fight. We had to keep moving forward. Right here, we're going to hit this slant out again, one of my favorite dots. And you know what's big, man? We rack it. We rack it, get a couple, three to four extra yards. Most importantly, we get out of bounds. Huge by us. Honestly, the timeouts are timeout issue isn't that much, but you know, getting those three, four extra yards definitely helps. Uh, sometimes if you rack those passes, it's going to turn into a, um, you know, incompletion. It's right here. We're going to hit Moss again. This time we possession catch it, gets his feet inbounds, and this is looking really, really good, boys. This is looking really, really good, if you ask me. Um, two plays, we're already, already up to the 47-yard line. I would say we need another, let's see, three plus, we need another, like, need another 11, 10 yards. It's right here. We actually dropped this pass. That would have been nice to have a... Uh, those three extra yards we need like eight to ten yards at this point to make this field goal remember guys we have jason sanders not david acres that's right here boys we're looking for henry on this truck immediately and you know what man i 100 percent should have just ran out of bounds i was thinking you know what i could i could you know truck that and get quite a bit of yards but we're not able to i believe he had um secure tackler enforcer slash deflator and it's gonna come down to this play boys can we get a field goal look at the play art i'm really just trying to get a field goal here guys remember i have the right flat but then i look left up top glitch left braylon edwards touchdown flex on him one time gg's in the chat man that's why you go get yourself a braylon edwards man oh that's huge i'm gonna try to break this play down but just like that we end up winning the game we needed a field goal and it became so sweaty man just, oh my goodness. So, Zan ends up running match. And the thing that sometimes happens in match is these streaks just get by him. So, he ran backed off match. He didn't man up that receiver. And, um, I don't know. I was looking for this R1 route to get open right here. And not really didn't get open. But as soon as I looked to the left, I saw something. I saw something. His quarter flat, it matched on, but it got burnt. So, whenever you run match, man, make sure you man up some guys. Have some deep blues out there because... This was not the defense, to say the least. I ended up burning him. Bray, big Bray Edwards. GG's in the chat, man. What a great game. That's that, boys. What a great game. GG's in the chat to Zan. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, share, comment. Go check out Zan's channels. Until next time, man. What a great gameplay in this weekend. We stay alive for that 25-0. And, yeah, I'm going to keep it real. We did get 25-0 again.